Hi there, it's Paul here from House of the Outsiders. Thank you for dropping by. Today I've a new art journal page I'd like to share with you and I've started by taking some Dilusions paint, the orange, and covering the whole page in just a base colour to set the things going. Now I wanted to do a sponge effect over it. So I took a, a kind of a dark orange and got um, an orange, I can't remember the names, that's slightly lighter and thought I would then sponge that on top. Now what I found once I had a go at this was that I thought that it was a little too subtle uh, an effect. So although I carried on continued, I didn't think the colour was um, too different. There wasn't a between the light and the dark. So I got then even darker orange and uh, then I dab that on top so, and you can see here a lot more contrast between the dark orange and the mid orange um, the only thing is that once I had done it as you'll see once it's got a complete coating is it's got a little too too red and I wanted it to be orange so I took the original orange color again patted my sponge with it and dabbed that over it which kind of took back some of the red so that the the red was peeping through the orange instead of the other way around um, and I have to admit once I've done it loved the effect gave me that kind of orange background but with slight texture I'm really taken to doing sponging at the moment now here's a stencil from Mike Deakin's art there will be a link uh, down below somewhere so look for that. Love this one. I think it's called Little Brain, Little Grey Cells. <laughs> so what I did was I took the dark red colour that I used and um, sponged it lightly through through the stencil, which I've held in place with a little bit of uh, what do you call it washi tape. But it being a flat colour, you know, just the flat colour against the kind of the sponged background. I thought, well, I want it to blend in a little bit more. So I took some orange and I lightly sponged over once I got that red paint on. Of course, I waited for the red paint to dry, then sponged it over. So here we go, the big reveal and looked brilliant. And so <laughs> love the central symmetry of it. Now, here we go through my process of choosing magazines to or magazine pages to cut up into at this stage, I hadn't a clue. Just saw things I liked. One thing I knew I wanted to do is I wanted to draw a harness similar to what Andrew Rippon wore on the Oscars car red carpet. And that was about the only idea I had for this, hence I th why I thought I'd go for that uh, torso. So everything else was just <laughs> serendipity. It was all, all, all sort of like a, as it happened. I had intended for this to become some sort of like merman, mer person, but once I put that torso over the hairstyle, I thought, yep, it's beginning to look like a tail. Um, I love the quirkiness of uh, the boots, the legs and the boots looking like arms. It, um, I don't know, <laughs> tickled me that uh, kind of obscure kind of weird look so that's what I went with and now I'm at the stage of gluing it down a little bit too much glue in this case but uh, you can see even my hands are covered in it <laughs> there we go I'm flattening down the image and putting it on top so we've got a, an image that covers most of the page but you still see bits of the background behind it and once the glue dried the first step just to get myself going on the doodling is to set the image down by putting a nice black line, a nice thick black line around the image and around the collage elements and just grounds it, as I've heard other people say. And here we go. Uh, I know you can't, because of the bright light and the shiny magazines, The it's not as easy to see some of the detail, but after I'd taken my black pen, I took my white Molotov pen and uh, I thought I'd make it... I did 
wonder about making the the, the tail look like hair by doing hair strokes in it but then I thought no I'd like it to look more like the mermaid's tail so I doodled what to me looked like scales to make it still look like a fish um, and then I've added details by, by blobbing circles and dots around the boots and I the the head is actually a sculpture of the head of Medusa and I've taken a black pen and I've doodled around the hair just to put all the squiggles in and the eyes are blank as you find in sculptures and I liked that I didn't want to sort of like start adding pupils to it so I just carried on making it black and here we go the, the one thing I wanted to do with this design is to draw in pencil that harness and now I'm uh, inking it over and what you can't see is off to the right is I had a picture of Andrew Rippon wearing his red red carpet outfit and I was copying it away <laughs> so I'm not drawing it from my imagination uh, using my Posca pens I thought black would just obliterate everything so I went for a dark grey to colour the belt in with um, it's, you know, it's dark it gives the right effect um, so yeah I was kind of pleased with the the look of it <laughs> I know that sort of like when you draw things like a, like harnesses it can cause a little bit of controversy I talk about that a little bit more on my blog but I'm not going to go into it here okay so between my white pens for adding a little bit of uh, highlights and to make things look metal and then the dark grey uh, I think I've made it look like the harness I wanted it to okay so I set to the border now taking another um, paint pen from Posca and because it's orange you'll find its complementary colour is a turquoise green so that's the colour although it looks a bit green it is actually more turquoise so um, and it also matches the the glove fins that has that colour too so it all balances together so I doodled away the trouble is when I'm doing borders and I have no clue whatever it can it can go either way sometimes I like it sometimes I don't and it gets away with me um, but every time I see something it's like I like the green I thought it needed something more so I outlined it in black and I thought it needed something more so I added black dots and then I thought no it needs something more so I got a thin red line and painted a border and I thought no I don't like the thin border so I took my thicker pen went over it and did a thick red border um, each time trying to sort of like visually make it look acceptable to me and then I thought yeah it still needs something so I went around the outside of the green doodle on the outside of the page and did that in red too so it kind of encased the decoration kind of still gave it that that made the border more of a Oh, I don't know I don't know what the words are for it but yeah visually appealing to me but then I still didn't like that red border so I took a black pen and doodled on the outside of it and then I doodled in the inside of it and it started taking shape it started to look more bold and graphic the way I like it to look so I thought leave it there I did have ideas of painting all over it and starting again but I thought no actually I don't mind it so I was happy with it and coincidentally this text I looked up I, I keep a book of quotes uh, that I could use in page in my pages and he looked good in leather I don't know where I got the quote from or where I overheard it from but I thought yep yeah, given the harness that's that's the quote that I'm going for <laughs> I thought it suited it and there we go once I've done the uh, quote I figured that was the page done dusted and yeah felt that I couldn't add any more to it I liked it as it was so Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and there's some photos coming up, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.